Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and in front of me I have a portable Windows 10 desktop PC. So this thing is actually made for freelancers or people who are uh, computing on the go and don't want to pay a lot of money for a good laptop. So they have like a workstation somewhere where they can use their Windows 10 desktop PC and take it with them uh, to their homes, to their uh, screens at home for example so this is reinventing the PC as already said this is a mini Windows 10 PC from Ockel this is a Sirius B Black Cherry it has a Wi-Fi of course it has Bluetooth it has four gigabytes of memory DDR3 L it's uh, energy saving it's very silent and it has a flash storage of uh, 32 gigabytes you also have the 64 gigabytes version as well and it uh, renders at uh, 60 hertz. One thing to note is tomorrow is Amazon Innovation Day, the 2nd of August, which means that this is uh, going to be uh, less money on Amazon. This uh, 32 gigabytes version uh, normally costs 259 pounds. The 64 gigabytes version costs 315 pounds. And these prices are getting lower, so they are going to be only tomorrow for um, this one for 209 pounds so that's like not, not that much 209 pounds for a Windows 10 PC and the other one with 64 gigabytes of internal storage is going to be for 265 pounds but let's just check out what is inside the box if it's any good By the way, Ockel is also producing the Series A, which has a screen and it's on Indiegogo on, on uh, pre-release and stuff. Um, but I hope I can check that one out as well, uh, because I think it's going to be a pretty cool PC, that one. But this is a Series B Black Cherry. Oh, that's heavy. Ah, it's a very shiny. It looks good. It's well built, it's the size of a hard drive as you can see, this is an iPhone 6 in comparison, so yeah, it's a very small device, it can uh, easily fit in your pocket. We have the USB 3.0, USB 2.0 and the HDMI input, this is the power input and then we have the power switch over here as well. So we get a lot of different connectors for the power, uh, for the power uh, input. Uh, so UK, EU, and then this is uh, US probably, but I'm going to need this one. We have the power brick over here. So we have everything we need to uh, continue this video in another place at the um, yeah at the screen at the uh, computer screen. Uh, so we're going to go to a different location, and it's going to be a little less professional than over here. But yeah, it's to check out this one. Let's go. Alright, so the installation was very simple, I just uh, put the HDMI in the screen, HDMI in the Ocal and then uh, USBs of the keyboard and the mouse also in the Ocal and then the power switch brick of course. Uh, one thing I have to say as is that there are only two USB inputs so I hope it works when putting these two things, the uh, mouse and the keyboard in the USB, um, otherwise you'll have to use a um, a, yeah, a, a, a Bluetooth mouse, of course, yeah, so let's get this party started. It lights up, as you can see, which is very cool. Alright, so we are in the Ocal, and let's just do this in English. So it has Wi-Fi, that is very neat, uh, very easy. So it took about two minutes to install this thing and yeah, it's, it's pretty fast. It's, it's, it's a basic computer of course, but it's pretty fast. So uh, he's going to do the updates now of course. First thing I have to say, there's no fan in this thing. So it's very, very quiet. It, 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 it's very quiet, it doesn't make a sound. So. That's good, and that's not good, in one one way or another, because 
I don't know if it will be that fast. It's going. I, I I assume it's going to be a browsing computer with four gigabytes of RAM. You can't be expecting uh, hardcore gaming, but I think it's going to be more like browsing, watching YouTube videos, writing a paper, for example, writing articles, um, but not for hardcore gaming or editing your stuff. That's why you need to buy a two thousand or thousand dollar computer for that. This is a two hundred dollar computer or two hundred pounds computer. So yeah, that's the difference. Alright, it's finally booted up. It took around a small 10 minutes. I also skipped some things I wasn't interested in, but it took around 10 minutes to start up. Uh, he did all the updates, so let's see if everything is working fine. That's working fast as you can see. Let's open uh, Edge. Yeah, it's going good, that's going good, that's going great, 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 very good. The first thing I'm noticing is that when uh, I go to a site where there are a lot of uh, ads, for example, playing, it takes some time when they load and that's really yeah, annoying, but maybe it's just um, because it's the first time I'm uh, opening it. Of course, it can't play the heavy games. I, I, I checked for player unknown Battlegrounds, which is very popular at the moment, and it can't play that game, so... I wasn't expecting that, but I just wanted to check so you guys can see yeah, the CPU, the RAM, free disk space and so on is not good enough to play games. But let's just check out browsing. If I go to YouTube for example. He takes a while to think, but when it's fully loaded, it's fully operational as well. So that's good. Let's just check out the latest video how fast it runs. Of course I'm still on Microsoft Edge, I didn't install uh, Chrome for example, so... Oh yeah, I forgot it doesn't have speakers. Uh, yeah, that's one thing I didn't say, but that's actually pretty normal. So you'll need to have um, like uh, speakers in your screen um, if you want to watch videos or uh, external speakers or via Bluetooth or something. Works perfectly. Quality is the quality of the screen. It's via HDMI, so yeah, that's the screen quality. It's uh, it's it's uh, 1080p, and yeah, th that's that's good for browsing, of course. It doesn't have uh, Word or other Microsoft Office apps included, so I'm going to be using Notepad to show you guys how fast it types. Hello, this is si Simon from the Red Ferret, and this is a test on the Ocal Series B. Black cherry, haha, ha, welcome to the video. Perfect. All right, it can play a gar point io, or how do you pronounce it? And it's um, it it lags a little bit because of the um, wireless connection. I think I I'm a very I'm in a very bad position to get a good wireless connection over here. Um, I can't connect the LAN cable, so that's also something you have to note. You can't connect the LAN cable, but it it works. Uh, you can play small games that don't require a lot of um, ability of the computer. You can watch videos, you can uh, type documents for example, and I think this is a good computer for on the go, it's a good desktop for on the go. The downside is you'll need a screen, you'll need a keyboard, you'll need a mouse of course. Those are the downsides, but when you're buying this, yeah, that, that's, that's what you're buying it for. Also a little downside is that some pages take some time to load when they're pretty heavy pages with a lot of ads that are playing in the background for example, but maybe you can install ad blocker for that or something. But to make a conclusion, this is a 200 pounds for now, for tomorrow it's 201 pounds I think for the uh, uh, 32 gigabytes version of storage. 
So uh, for 200 bucks, you're getting a good Windows 10 PC. You won't have a gaming PC, but that's very normal. You'll have a PC which you can use to type your articles, to watch videos, to play some uh, low-end games like online gaming, for example, on Miniclip, for example. Uh, but not the heavy games where you have to install Steam. That's not going to work or, or very. it's going to be very bad. But for um, daily uh, normal usage, watching things, uh, browsing things, this is a good PC. But you'll need some extras like screen, for example. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video in a different setting. And don't forget, uh, if you're interested in this one, um, go to Amazon tomorrow. Because, um, yeah, there's a big uh, deal on Amazon tomorrow for Innovation Day. This Ocal Series B Black Cherry is going to cost a lot less for the uh, 32 and 64 or 63 uh, storage version. Yeah, I'm going to put the prices down below and the links as well. Um, so if you're interested, check them out. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, leave a like down below. And I hope I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.